first time I get something that's really serious is when Jack Caulfield walks in my office wide-eyed and said that I've just come from Chuck Colson's office who's ordered me to firebomb the Brookings Institute. I said, what? He said he wants me to firebomb the Brookings Institute. When the fire department responds, he wants me to send a team of burglars in to break the safe. I got on the next courier flight to California and went to visit Ehrlichman in San Clemente because I wasn't going to let him off on this one. I'd opened the code before I left. I saw that it was a, probably a capital offense if anybody died as a result of arson in the District of Columbia. And so I was not going to have a phone call where he would brush me off. I was out there for an eyeball to eyeball to tell him this was insane, it was criminal, and it was certainly not conduct that should be even contemplated in the White House. And he heard me out, he picked up the phone, got Colson on the line, said, Chuck, young counsel Dean is out here with me. He's learned about the Brookings operation, does not think it's a good idea, cancel it. Puts down the phone, hangs it up, anything else, counselor? I said, no, John, thank you, and left. So Ehrlichman already knew about it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It was war, and it should be fought any way uh, that you can fight it. I talked to Nixon enough. He believed phone, his phone was tapped, his wife was followed, all of these things, which were not true. Infuriated by leaks to the media, Nixon orders Ehrlichman to create a secret White House organization to identify leakers and attack them, starting with Daniel Ellsberg. Nixon calls this team that he sets up a special investigations unit. They call themselves the plumbers break in, plant bugs, rifle files, infiltrate. Gordon Liddy, as part of the plumber's unit, is a screwball. He's a nutcase. He's a bumbler. He's a romantic. He is somebody who thought he was James Bond. He'd come up with a plan to break in Daniel Ellsberg's psychiatrist office. Liddy and these Cuban-Americans, he's been able to arrange to help him through another White House aide, Howard Hunt. But they broke in. They find nothing in the files. They trash the place. We had one little operation. It's been aborted in Los Angeles, which I think it's better you don't know about. They realized they got to get Liddy and Hunt out of the White House. And in classic Washington bureaucratic fashion, they're promoted to be somebody else's problem. And they're sent over to the committee to reelect the president to CREEP. CREEP, which stood for the Committee to Reelect the President, was the organization created to manage Nixon's 1972 reelection campaign. And Gordon Liddy wanted to control CREEP's intelligence operation. 